So please let me introduce David Walker, our candidate for uh, Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Hello, Democrats! Yeah. Who's ready to turn Florida blue? Sign language because I was born premature at 26 weeks and I couldn't speak until I was five years of age. So I always like to acknowledge the deaf community because they need a voice and I'm going to be the voice that once I get in Tallahassee. So I always want to acknowledge the deaf community. So thank you. So I'm R. David Walker and I'm running to be your next Commissioner of Agriculture. I'm an environmental biologist. I've worked for the United States Geological Survey, the National Park Service, and Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. I currently hold a bachelor's in environmental science, a master's in environmental policy, and over the years I've researched and explored the impacts of climate change. <laughs> Working for the state of Florida, I wasn't allowed to say that, but I said it. And in fact, I took my story of being saying those words those bad words, climate change, invasive species, rising sea level to Tallahassee. I took it to Washington, D.C. And I've advocated for the environment, for conservation, for public land, or water, or soil, and our air. And in fact, in 2015, I was honored enough to receive the Volunteer Service Award from President Barack Obama for my dedication for our environment. I would not be speaking today if it wasn't for my teachers and my parents, my dedicated parents, who found my passion at a young age, at, at five, when I started learning to talk. And since then, I've been working so hard on conserving our environment. It's more than just a career for me, it's my passion. And I'm looking to take this passion and science back to Tallahassee. Are you with me? So, so the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services is a huge position. Not only does it oversee everything agriculture, as of right now, citrus. Citrus is a $20 billion industry. Agriculture as a whole is $120 billion. That's the revenue that is coming in with the state of Florida. And citrus alone has decreased under the Adam Putnam's leadership seven and a half years. Citrus boxes, has gone down more than 82%. 82%, the revenue has gone down 61%. 149 million boxes of citrus down to 49 million. And he wants to be governor? Really? Let me tell you what I'm gonna do for the citrus industry. What's going on right now is a disease called citrus greening. Yes, this last hurricane, destroyed the season's crops for citrus. But it's not just the hurricanes. It's citrus greening. And what citrus greening is, is an invasive beetle not, be, not currently being managed properly, which is in the, in going tree to tree and suffocating the veins of these trees, which is declining the citrus industry. And right now what's going on is these growers are closing up shop. They are closing up shop. They'll no longer have ways to make an income. They no longer have help from the state. In fact, Adam Putnam has turned down science on finding a cure for citrus greening. I've been to the University of Florida. I've been to Polk County where they do research growing on citrus greening. And what I'm planning on doing is one number one, bring science back to save the citrus industry. We need to do more than that. We need to clean the soil. Soil is very, very important because even though you remove the trees and put a new one in, citrus greening is in the soil. And one way to clean the soil is to start growing hemp. I'm a big believer in medical marijuana and hemp. The hemp industry 
country for being a money maker here in the state of Florida. Not only is it a good for the environment, not only will it help save the citrus industry, but the revenue that we will bring in and the products and the new jobs that these two industries will bring to Florida. Are you with me on this? Yeah. Now, I'm an environmental biologist. I spent long, long days out in the Everglades, from sunrise to sunset. I've been out to the agriculture areas doing research for state and federal organizations, departments. And I've seen the hardship on our waters. We can just go out to the beach right now and we'll see it. And what I plan on doing, because this does play a role with the agriculture, and right now Alan Putnam has done nothing to protect our water. He's taken money from Big Sugar. In fact, last year, Big Sugar received an award as the best agriculture award of the year. <laughs> For what? Polluting the water? Yes, there are other aspects that play a very important role. But the main source of pollution is special interest. And I'm going to hold these special interests accountable for our water. Now, this department is so much more than agriculture. It's consumer services. Consumer services affect each and every person here and in the state of Florida. Nonprofits, fraud, the do not call list. How many people are on the do not call list? The state and federal. Let me tell you, it's a really good program, it really is, and it will work once I get there. But what's happening right now, what's happening right now, the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services is regulating the consumers, not the corporations. Let's put them on that list. Let's hold them accountable for breaking the law, state and federal law. Are you with me? School launches. School lunches fall underneath the Department of Agriculture. And as I travel with the state, I've been to 52 counties for the last 11 and a half months. I've been going everywhere and anywhere, and I'm talking to both sides of the aisle. Out of 67 counties, I've been to 52 counties. And the number one issue that affects people in minority, that affects people in low income area, is the fact that they are being shamed at school based on income. Based on income for school lunches. School lunches fall underneath the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. But let me tell you one how I'm going to fix that. I'm looking to bring back Farm to School. Farm to School is a program that started up in Chicago. Chicago, it snows. Chicago. Let me just point that out. It's a really great program. What they're, what they're doing is working with local farmers and bringing nutrition back into the school system. Not only will it bring back nutrition, it's so affordable that it can be free for all counties and all 67 counties in the state of Florida. Not just Polk County where Alan Pondham currently resigns. Yes, Polk County has free lunches using federal money. We can use that money and provide that to all 67 counties. You with me? So not only will this provide nutrition and food in our school system, but or as local farmers, the family growers, will have a source of income. Well, they can keep their doors open. They can keep their gates open. Now, so, nutrition food, increasing the agriculture industry by working with our farmers around the state. What's so amazing about Florida is we can grow food year round. We're not Chicago. Year round, we can grow food. And currently, we're not doing it. I'm looking to increase and grow the agriculture industry, protect our children when it comes to nutrition and school lunches without being shamed. But other issues that fall underneath the agriculture commissioner is the concealed weapon license. The concealed weapon license fall underneath this department. And as we learned over the past few months, Adam Pondham has done an awful job on making sure that their background checks are being completed. Number one, let me tell you that I will not forget the password. And number two, I'm going to require a thorough background check by working with the state law enforcement, which it helps with currently, 
to make sure it gets done cor correctly when they do the renewal as well as when they signed up. Mandatory thorough background check. That is so important for me. I lost a friend at the Fox nightclub shooting. And that individual had was an armed security guard, licensing, licensing fault in agriculture, but also he has the concealed weapon license that he received during that year and a half that Alan Fonda was handing out these licenses as if it was candy to a baby. So this department affects everyone, not just agriculture, but consumer services. Florida has become number one in fraud. Number one, fraud at the gas pump. What are we doing about it? Nothing. Let me tell you what I would do about it. Let's, we need new technology to make sure that consumers are being protected. What's happening right now is the scammers are going inside the gas pumps. It used to be on the, the readers. Now they're opening the gas pump, putting readers so it's electronically going to a phone or computer. But currently, the Department of Agriculture has not updated their policies and technology to protect the consumers. It's unfortunate. Florida has become number one. I've been a victim myself. I'm sure a lot of us have. I'm, I'm very sorry. So what you need to do is call the Department of Agriculture and make a complaint. They won't do anything, but that's, that's, that's actually what you're supposed to do. So, I'm here to tell you about myself, what I'm going to do for the agriculture industry, and I'm going to ask for your vote. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure everyone here is registered. Are you guys registered to vote? Yeah! You guys ready to turn Florida blue? Yeah! Perfect. Are you going to get your friends and your family to the voting polls? Yeah! I'll be going to elect Bill Nelson as the next senator. Yeah! This year, we have a lot of great candidates all up and down this ballot. But what makes me different from others in my race is that I'm not a lobbyist. I'm not a career politician. I'm a scientist. I'm looking to bring science back to Tallahassee. Yeah. As I travel the state, I'm going around growing the agriculture industry and the agriculture industry, the foundation, is our honeybees. Our honeybees are dying by the thousands. Yeah. And it's the foundation of our economy. A $120 billion economy that relies on the honeybees. So I'm here today, I have the state wildflower. I would like each and every person here to take one home, plant it in your yard, in your flower pot, and together, we can grow Florida together. Yeah. I'm R. David Walker, Democrat, scientist, running to be your next commissioner of agriculture and consumer services. Yeah. Thank you.